When we say humans, most people think we are the only ones or the only species that have ever walked this earth. But the truth is that we are not the only human species to have ever lived. We are just the human species that survived. Hence, we can call ourselves the surviving species. Welcome back to this channel guys. In today's video, we are going to talk about the various kinds of human species that have existed before us. But before we start, please remember to check our previous videos and hit like and subscribe. There are around 14 human species that have ever lived before us. All these have varying features but there are some characteristics that they have left behind in us. So let us check them out. Number 1. Homo habilis Of all the Homo species, this is the one that is the least similar to Homo sapiens. It lived between 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago. It evolved in Africa and went extinct in the same place. They possessed some ape-like features such as long arms, a moderately prognathic face, and they had a cranial capacity slightly less than half of the size of modern humans. Some say that one population of Homo habilis might have evolved into the earliest undisputable human species, the Homo erectus. Number 2. Homo erectus They lived throughout the Pleistocene period from 1.9 million years ago to most recently 143,000 years ago. Studies prove that Homo erectus originated in Africa and spread through India, China, Georgia and then Java. They had a cranial capacity greater than that of Homo habilis and they stood about 5 feet 10 inches tall and they were extraordinarily slender with long arms and legs. It has been suggested that they may have been the first kinds to use rafts to cross oceans. Number 3. Homo gotengensis Fossils of this species showed that they had big teeth to chew plant materials and most researchers believe that they lacked in speech and language skills, especially due to the small brain. The species was found to have stood over 3 feet tall and weighed about 110 pounds. Researchers say they could walk on 2 feet when on the ground but most probably spend considerable time in trees, perhaps feeding, sleeping and escaping predators. But besides all that, they believed it was a very pretty close relative of Homo sapiens. Number 4. Homo neanderthalensis The Neanderthals were found to have appeared in Eurasia approximately 200,000 years ago. They are the most famous of all the extinct human species. That is probably the reason why the Big Bang Theory's theme song was made based on them or included them. They are sometimes labeled as the cousin of our species. That is because they had most of the features of modern humans. They looked the same, they used different tools for hunting and wore symbolic ornamental objects. Number 5. Homo floresiensis They were believed to have lived 95,000 years ago to 17,000 years ago in Indonesia. Also known as the Hobbits, they were quite small in size around 3.5 feet tall with a tiny brain. Besides a short body and a small brain, they had unusually large and long feet, exactly like Hobbits. There are some evidences that tell us that this species made stone tools and used them to hunt small elephants and large rodents. And they may be connected by folk memory to the Ibu Gogo myths of the Isle of Flores. Number 6. Homo Rudolfensis They are believed to have lived around 1.9 million years ago to 1.8 million years ago, they displayed less prognathism and around the brain case than, rather than a bunning brain case. It was found that a male Homo rudolfensis had massive teeth in compared to a female Homo habilis, and it portrays a much larger brain case. But their physical build, weight and height are still unknown due to the scarcity of cranial fossils. Number 7. Homo heidelbergensis they lived on Earth between 700 and 200,000 years ago and was found that they emerged from Africa. The approximate height of the species was 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed about 58 kilograms or slightly more than 120 pounds. They had a large brain case with a flatter face than modern humans. Findings show that they might have been the first species to have buried their dead and also were the first human species to adapt to colder climates and to build their own shelters to live in. Number 8. Denisova Heminin also known as the Denisovans, possibly throughout Eastern Asia between about 200,000 years ago and 50,000 years ago, fragments of their fossils were found in the remote Denisova cave in the Altai Mountains in Siberia, a cave which has also been inhabited by Homo neanderthals and Homo sapiens or the modern humans. Because so little is known about them, there is a slight reluctance in giving them any scientific name yet in regards to being a part of a Homo species. Number 9. Homo naledi found to have existed in South Africa but no official data has been published regarding the species' age. Although unofficial reports suggest it was alive between 300 and 200,000 years ago, 
They had strange mix of features with some parts of its skeleton undistinguishable from those of living people while other parts looked almost ape-like. They also had a brain a little bigger than that of a chimpanzee. Number 10. Homo ergaster This species existed and remained stable for approximately 500,000 years ago in Africa before disappearing from the fossil records about 1.4 million years ago. They had thinner bones, more protrusive faces and a lower forehead. This species had reduced sexual dimorphism, meaning males and females were almost the same in size. They were with a smaller face, a smaller dental arcade and a larger cranial capacity. Overall, their body was so much alike to a modern human's body. Number 11. Homo antecessor It actually means explorer and was known to have been present in Western Europe in Spain, England and France between 1.2 million years ago and 0.8 million years ago. They are about 5 feet 5 inches tall to 6 feet tall and males weighed approximately 90 kilograms. Studies say they might have been right-handed which is a trait that makes the species different from other apes and based on teeth eruption pattern, the researchers think that they had the same developmental stages as us Homo sapiens. Number 12. Homo rhodesiensis It was also named because they found it in northern Rhodesia, now Zambia. It was also known as the Rhodesian man. The skull was dubbed Rhodesian man at the time of the find but it is now commonly referred to as the broken hill skull or the cupway cranium. They were found to have lived between 400 and 125,000 years ago. The skull found was from an extremely robust individual and was seen to have comparatively the largest brow ridges of any known hominid remains. Number 13. The Homo sapiens idaltu, otherwise known as the Hertu man or the firstborn. They are the subspecies of Homo sapiens and lived approximately 160,000 years ago in Pleistocene Africa. They were discovered at the Hertobori near Middle Awash site of Ethiopia's Afar Triangle in 1997 by Tim White but were first unveiled in 2003. They were said to have developed from the Homo rhodesiensis and had heavier brow ridges. Number 14. Homo sapiens sapiens Last, never the least, and the last surviving species of the genus, that's us, we the modern humans or the wise men, are the only extant members of the hominin clade. We are characterized by erect posture, bipedal locomotion, larger complex brains and manual dexterity. Our species was said to have first appeared in Africa about 200,000 years ago and spread across the rest of the world and none seems to have been able to compete with our technological and artistic sophistication. <coughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please support our channel by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. You can also tell us about your thoughts in the comments section.